Hey guys, the Athletic Gamer here, and welcome to a new video. I'd like to preface the video that's going to come after this video by saying, Ugh, I, uh, I don't know why I'm actually uploading this. This is a really weird video that I had to make for science class, and the entire project was I had to bring an old scientist back to life, and my guy was Dimitri Mendeleev. If you don't ever figure that out, which I would, would be very impressed if you didn't figure that out in this clip. Um... Yeah, it's just really weird. Some really weird things happened while I presented it in class, and that makes it ten times funnier. So, I wish I could give away those uh, those exact things that happened, but I can't because they were just so weird and odd. And yeah, just enjoy the video. Have a good day, guys, and bye. Hey guys, Athletic Gamer here, and welcome to a new video. Today, we are actually not doing anything athletic and not anything gaming either. Today, we'll be going over something I found on my computer randomly. I have no idea what this is. I have no idea where it came from. And I haven't watched it yet, because I figured I'd watch it with y'all in case it's really weird. So, I'm going to show it to y'all now. I'm going to pull it up on the screen. Enjoy. Is this thing on? Is it working? I assume so. Hello, my name is Dimitri Mendeleev. I was a chemist long before you were born. Hopefully, anyway. I assume this will make it somewhere. This is my first attempt at using this technology that they call video. Yes, it is new. It does not exist yet, actually. I created this in my basement when I was born. I hope it works. I hope that somebody may soon see this video. And by soon, I mean approximately a hundred years, five weeks, and seven days. Yes. Yes, that is the exact number I want. However, I will wait at seven years after that. But if it's not there, it's going to explode. Just expect it to explode. It's, it's going to explode. Okay? All right. Today I'll be telling you a few facts about my life as a chemist in the Middle Ages. No, it wasn't really the Middle Ages. It was around the 1800s. It was pretty boring. I didn't do much. But I will still inform you of my life. Here we start. My father was a teacher of fine arts, politics, and philosophy. I was very proud of him, and so was my mother. Though mother never came home, she was said she was proud in all her letters she wrote. My family was extremely large, even though the lack of my mother being around most of the time. I had around 16 brothers or sisters, though give or take a few. I can't ever remember the exact amount. I didn't really talk to them much. After being with my family for the 12 years it took me to go through high school. High school. Ugh, dreadful place. I wish to never go back. It was the worst experience of my life. I hope that they have gotten rid of those in a hundred years. I studied at St. Petersburg and I graduated in 1856 with the highest honors you could possibly imagine. After a few years of graduating, I sat around and just tried to come up with something, something that would help society to become more efficient. And then it hit me while I was lying asleep. I saw a dream table where all the elements that we have found fell into each place as required. Awakening, I immediately wrote this down because... It was amazing. It was something no one had ever accomplished before. And only one correction was needed. One. One measly correction. I was too good. Too good for my own sake. That was my best known work. It was called The Periodic Table of Elements. I didn't fill the entire thing, but I left room for future chemists to discover their own element. I only named one after me because I am not so self proud that I would not that would name all the elements after me. 
Though I wanted to at first. And I still didn't want to. But they told me I couldn't. So I didn't. Huh. <sighs> really stuck. I really, really wanted Mendeleum and Mend Hydrogen and Mend Iron and all the others. That would have been great. That would have been really weird, but it would have been great. People would have never forgotten my name. I published the periodic table in my book called The Principles of Chemistry in 1869. And I was wildly honored through all the scientific communities all over Europe, 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 including, but not limited to, the Davy Medal from the Royal Society of London and the Nobel Prize for Chemistry and the Copley Medal. Now that was a nice medal. It had Cope and Lee on the same thing. I was, it was it was amazing. We had never done that before. Huh. I also went into some research after creating the periodic table on a new 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 thing called petroleum. Petroleum. But I deemed it unnecessary and only created one refinery to create this stupid liquid. The liquid was a great fuel source, but it was like burning banknotes in a fire. It cost so much money to manufacture, I decided to cut the entire project off. It was a waste of time. I hope someday y'all will, will have found a way to use petroleum without wasting immense amounts of money. Now, we get to the sad part. The part that I should not know, but a magic fortune teller told me how this would go down. I, I say go down because he also mentioned the future as well. And he said go down is like the big phrase they all say in a hundred years. In 1907, I will die at the age of 72 in St. Petersburg, the place where I graduated from, I must say, with influenza. I have taken every shot I possibly can, but there is no shots for influence at the moment. So pretty much, I have taken nothing to create a way to keep this from getting me, as much as I've tried. I have a crater on the moon named after me. It is called Mendeleev. That is my last name, not my first. My first is Dimitri. Dimitri Mendeleev. That's an interesting name. I can't get over how awesome I am. As well as element number 101, the radioactive, awesome, super cool Mendeleum. Yeah, that was named after me. I'm so creative. Alright. Future, I have one question for you. Have you finally got a black president? I mean, I really want to know. Are you ever going to get one? I hope not. I would shoot you that. I don't believe in anyone black. Because I'm from Russia. And Russia doesn't like black people. Or white people. Or pretty much anyone who doesn't have blonde hair, blue eyes. That would be great. Which isn't good for me. Because I have gray hair from not shaving ever. Unless it is once a year. Which of course I shave. Because... She won't kiss me otherwise. My wife, she's she's special about it. So I go 364 days without being kissed. Oh, it stinks. But it's worth it for chemistry. Because all great chemists have a beard. That they can just go, wah, and fluff and fluff. And I'm running out of time. This machine I've created only records for a certain amount of time. So thus, I must be off. Immense amounts of money. All I can say is that guy was extremely weird. And that was an extremely weird video. I have no idea where it came from. 
and I kind of wish I hadn't found it. Sadly, I learned something today. I learned that someone had a terrible name called Dimitri Mendeleev. I mean, that's, that's so bad. It's like funny. Really funny. So funny, I can't even laugh at it. And, sadly, I learned that he created the periodic table and left room for other chemists to come along and fill in the gaps that we left and to create the full thing we have now. Which, eh, important, not important, eh. yeah, uh, I also learned that he had 16 brothers and sisters, and that he had a wife who had him shave once a year, which makes you wonder, how far into the year was he to have a beard that long, that was a long beard, that was a really long beard. He must have been growing that out for at least 200 days. That means he still had another 150 days until he shaved it. I mean, how long could they have gotten? Be like this long? That would have been that would have been weird. All right, so yeah, that was a weird video. Interesting, but weird.